Cuties, welcome back to my channel. It's Cece and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. This video is going to be a little bit different. I'm currently 24 weeks pregnant and <laughs> I have a house to renovate. So Cece Clark Home, if you don't already follow on Instagram, is my new project. Um, it's not this house, it's actually a new house that we've built, we've bought, that we're going to basically rebuild. Um, it's going to be torn down, rebuilt, renovated, going from like a 60s mess into like a modern best. <laughs> the plans are insane. It's probably a project that will take about nine months um, from start to finish and I'm hoping that it's going to start this winter. However, I'm becoming very impatient and I know what I want when it comes to this house and the house we're currently living in. So we're really fortunate to be able to live in this house whilst the new one is being renovated. Although kind of bad timing because I'm going to pop this second baby out before we're in the new house and I could really do it with the extra space, but you know, such is life. So I'm becoming impatient and I've got lots of ideas and to be quite honest with you, I'm bored of this house. Well, I love all the other rooms, but downstairs is where you spend most of the time, like the kitchen, the living room, and I did this up about five years ago. So right where we're sitting, it used to be a toilet. Um, we did kind of renovate this place as well, not as extreme as what we're going to do to the new place, but it's time for a refresh. So that's what we're gonna do in this vlog. It's probably gonna take a fair few weeks. So this is gonna be over the span of however long it takes to kind of revamp and refresh this room. I'm gonna document how we kind of do the paneling, the paint we're gonna use. Um, we're gonna get the kitchen resprayed and I'm gonna get new furniture. So, I mean, it's probably a bit pointless because we are gonna sell this house next year, but to be content in the space that I live in, I feel like is really important. And I mean, yeah, let's face it, I'm nesting early. <laughs> so let's have a look around this room. As I said, it's open plan. So I really love the kitchen. This is um, the kitchen that we had installed like five years ago. It's from B&Q um, and we got just the gray colorway from B&Q and I wanted it to kind of be like gray and rose gold. So that's what we're dealing with here. And then we've just had to have this wall built for building regulations to approve um, the, the sale of this house. And then you've got the staircase up there. So it was a nice banister all open. And unfortunately we had to have this wall built for safety measures basically, um, which I won't go into. But anyway, that wall is there. Um, yeah, I really loved this kitchen and decor when I first did it. It was very on trend. Well, it was kind of ahead of the trend at the time, but I feel like it's become a bit saturated. I'm not keen on all of these um, canvas pictures. I wanna change these radiator covers, revamp them, I'll document that. Um, new sofas, I just, I'm so done with teal now. The little palm kind of print wallpaper. Loved it, but time's up when it comes to like tropical vibes in this house I'm afraid and again you can see we've tried out a little bit of panelling when it comes to this kind of TV wall and I'm excited because it looks amazing Buzzy's done a great job we're gonna get cracking on a bit more of that today I have been including snippets of this kind of refresh in my vlogs but I wanted to do a video dedicated because is this on the wrong way around yes <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to do a dedicated video just for those that are particularly interested in the home renovation aspect of my life rather than just the weekly vlogs. And also it keeps everything in one place when it comes to me listing below all of the final outcome of the products. I mean, I don't even know, how is this gonna look? By the time this video goes live, you will know what the final kind of look is of our new open plan living, dining, kitchen. So anyway, we're gonna carry on with the paneling today and I'm gonna talk you through some kind of paint options as well. I mean, this is kind of what we're dealing with. Schoolhouse white, a few kind of Rust-Oleum shades and then we've got some Lick shades. These two are very similar. This is white 05 and this is Schoolhouse white. And I think it's between these two and I think I wanna paint everywhere in white 03 to give it a bit more of a glow rather than that hospital white vibe because even though I'm not into Magnolia, <laughs> we want to warm up the room. I'll insert some inspiration pictures here actually. So um, this is kind of the vibe that I wanna go for, the, the mood, the tones, like I want abstract furniture, but like 
minimal um kind of colors color palette and then this is the paneling idea so here we've drawn out what we want um the kind of paneling to look like and my top tip is to get a bigger piece of paper and to do it to scale per millimeter um so every centimeter becomes a millimeter on paper and then you can really see what it looks like so this is the radiator cover here um, and we've kind of made sure we've accounted for that and yeah, what do you reckon? I think that'll look good with a nice fresh sofa. And then you can see the vibes we're going for here. We're going for half wall panelling because you've got a bit of a slope there. But yeah, so let's crack on with the panelling today um, and see how we go. Get them stuck on the walls. Oh, also, these little things here, we want to cover them up, even though that kind of defeats the object. But... Um, it's a misting system. We had to have sprinklers installed and this wool to get a certificate to be able to sell the house. Even though the misting system's a bit extra. The fire alarms do the, do the trick, to be quite honest with you. But um, yeah, we're going to cover them up. Um, not permanently. You can take it off if you obviously want to use the misting system for that extra precaution. Anyway, let's crack on. I hope that you find this vlog useful and helpful and fun to watch. Um, oh, another thing, I want the radiator covers to be painted black. Um, and then I've got this rattan, which I need to stain to match these new little bar stools that I have got for this kitchen. So basically it will look like a bit more stylish than the bog standard being q ones. So there we are. Let's crack on. Right, so we literally got this little block from Amazon. And Amazon, everything else is from Amazon. This is from B&Q, saw from B&Q, and then it gives you the degree of the angle that you're after. Um, so you cut everything in a straight line to start off with at the length you want, and then are you gonna use a pencil guide? Normally use a pencil guide to determine what angles. You can see a few of them that we've cut off here. Yeah, go ahead, saw man. Sauce, just slot right in. Sauce, Need to make sure the random. corner gets right aligned to that corner. Okay. And then, yeah. and then you'll end up with something that looks like this. Here's what I prepared earlier. <laughs> you helping there? That's it. You get the tools ready, prepare the tools. Right guys, so you will need, I've got a little list here. Um, I'll put it on the screen as well for you. But the moulding, spirit level, pencil and paper obviously to do this little mock up. <laughs> um, paper, yeah, tape measure, wood glue, nails and a hammer, saw, angle, kind of guide cutter, cork and a corking gun and sandpaper. So everything we've got, it's coming along nicely. Um, I'll show you how we kind of are gluing and nailing the panels to the wall so far. So these have been glued on with the Gorilla Glue, the wood glue, but some bits come away from the wall. Can you see? <laughs> Sorry about the sound effects of this mm. child. <laughs> you, <laughs> you. <laughs> um, so yeah, we need to nail them in to tack them a little bit further. Corking should kind of seal that, but could do with another one up there actually, Buzzy. This is definitely not baby safe. Don't know what to do with you. <laughs> Just gotta keep an eye on her every single second. No. Okay, so we're gonna leave it here for today and we're going to come back during the week to do the, um, the panels above and the dodo rail. Actually, we could do the dodo rail today. Right guys, I've had enough of this for today. <laughs> so we're gonna leave it here and resume it during the week, but we're gonna go and take her 11 month picture now. Go on a little walk. Guys, guys, the paneling is done. You can see it in the reflection here in my new mirror. In fact, it's all done. The entire kitchen and lounge is finished and I have a little bit of an apology to make. Um, I did vlog the process of kind of revamping the radiator covers and respraying the lights, but one, 
I lost the footage that I took on my vlogging camera, but I got far better footage on my phone of just clips, like the reels that I'm going to be adding to the CC Clark home and the stories. What I'm gonna do is, as I show you round and show you the after of each piece of furniture, I guess, um, I'm gonna insert clips of what I did to it, if I've actually DIY'd it myself, that is, and, um, just give you a grand tour really. The panelling was like the main thing I wanted to document because I personally got so stuck when trying to envision what I wanted. And of course, I looked at lots of inspiration images myself and wanted to kind of help you guys out. So if you have any further questions, then please leave them below. But I have saved everything as a highlight on my Instagram too, when it comes down to us literally gluing it onto the wall. And I know that you saw that in the beginning part of this vlog, but shall we get into the tour? because I'm holding my fancy white wine glass that has Fanta in it because baby girl, we know it's a girl now. So when I started this renovation, I was 24, 25 weeks pregnant. I'm now like 32 weeks pregnant. So it's taken a good six, seven weeks to do this downstairs. And of course there's been bits and bobs being delivered, but my bump has grown and we know that it's another girl, <laughs> which I'm so excited about. Birdie's gonna have a little sister. Oh, two little girls, the dream. If you've been following my other vlogs, you would know that I was convinced it was a boy. Everyone thought it was a boy, but it's a girl. And I really wanted two little girls first and then later on down the line, perhaps if I'm lucky and blessed enough, we'll have a little prince, but let's just get these ones out first. <laughs> Right, let's get into the lounge tour. I just love all the angles. This mirror, well, I'm gonna walk you around. My friend Rachel's gonna help me actually. So I'm just gonna grab her. And before we do that actually, let me just give you a before and after of this little project down here in all its glory. And then I'll walk you around. I'm gonna tell you where every single thing is. And I've also listed it all below and linked it for you. Um, but I'm just so proud of this and it just makes me feel calm and zen and I hope that you love it too. <laughs> as much as I do. It's been blood, sweat, tea, tan, tears going to this. Literally, when I say tea and tan, like the rattan that you saw on the radiator covers, yeah, I soaked it in tea bags and fake tan, but we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, let me take you on a tour. So the kitchen is the same kitchen, however, we've had it re-sprayed. I'll insert some clips here because um, it's actually Buzzy's business. He owns um, a company called Colour House London and he re-sprays kitchens, windows, doors, things like that really that need a really durable kind of surface and I'm obsessed. So the colour that we've gone for is Jitney by Farrow and Ball and I just feel like it complements like the decor really nicely but it still is a good contrast. It's like the perfect greyish which is what I was after. Whereas before it was like a kind of bluey grey. We've switched out the handles for some little kind of brushed gold ones and then we have these cup handles on all of our drawers as well. These are literally from Amazon so um, absolutely love them, really affordable. And what else have we done? Got my little Nespresso coffee machine, that's always been here. And we've got the Breville um, toaster and kettle, which do the job, 70 pounds for the two. From Amazon, to be honest, I am gonna get a hot water tap, I've decided, a boiling water tap, um, but we're gonna get that installed in the next like month or so. Like We're gonna have it brushed gold as well. But yeah, we're gonna get round to that eventually. There's still some things that I want to obviously do, but we haven't completely had the chance to do, and I was just so keen 
to show you guys everything. But let me walk you around this way. So we have our gorgeous stalls. These are from Homery. Now, Homery has been a bit hit and miss, I have to say, because I ordered a coffee table and it came mouldy. Yep, it came mouldy. But these came absolutely flawless and beautiful and I'm obsessed with them. So we've got four to put um, around our kind of bar area. And onto the light. This light, wow, I'm obsessed with this. So it's from made.com and I actually sprayed it with Rust-Oleum metallic gold because it came and it was like a really uh, a cheap kind of shiny gold. It looked a bit plasticky and now it just looks a lot softer and richer. I'll insert a little clip of me spraying it to perfection. I've done the same with the Vetro lamp over there. As I said, I'll be linking absolutely everything. Of course, you need your classic winter candle from the White Company. Wait, is that the winter candle? Oh, well, we'll have a bit of mulled wine, you know. Get into their kind of festive, wintry spirit, do you know what I mean? This gorgeous vase was actually gifted from Maybelline. Um, do you remember the designer's name? Is it like Anishka? I will actually link it below because you can get them from Selfridges. They're a bit pricey. I always wanted one and I was just blown away when they included it in their PR package. So yeah, I'll link that below for you. So that's the kitchen. And of course, if you're in Hertfordshire or London, guys, hit up Colour House London for your uh, kitchen resprays. It's really affordable and any kind of surface can be sprayed or finished on the cabinets and you can have any colour under the sun. And if you want like your windows going from like PVC white to like a nice black framed look, which is what we're gonna do on our new house, then yeah, you can do that too. Your front door's the lot. That's my little plug for Buzzy. <laughs> now follow me round. <laughs> we have the panelling finished. Yes, I'm so obsessed with this. It's come out so well. And we went for steamed milk, by Rust-Oleum and then everywhere else is antique white. So you can kind of see a slight contrast. I just wanted kind of off-white shades to just flow in this room. Nothing too stark contrasty, but we've got antique white, which is more of a creamy color and then steamed milk. I tell you what, steamed milk is such a beautiful, like, it's like a creamy gray, but it's not gray. I don't know, it is what it says on the tin really. Um, and I'm definitely going to be using these colours in the new house as well. Now on to my sofas. I am absolutely over the moon with these. They came and I was like, oh, I hope they're comfortable because they look amazing. And they are. I mean, they're quite like firm, but really comfy guys. They're from Sweet Pea and Willow and they're the Eichholz. Oh, that sounded horrible. <laughs> they're Eichholz. I said it again, did it again. I think it's a German name. Anyway, Ike Holtz, that sounded nicer, didn't it? Um, that's the designer brand. And yeah, it's really like a buccal material, very comfortable, you put your feet up onto my coffee table that I actually made. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll link these because I got this in the kind of big long sofa and the armchair as well. And again, colours complement each other beautifully. You've got these little throw cushions here that match it wonderfully. Um, I did actually skip past my radio to cover, so let me just show you this because I'm so proud of the finished kind of piece of work that we've done here. So we stapled the rattan to the inside, painted it black, and obviously I did a bit of tea staining in the process. So I'll insert a few clips of how we actually got to this point because the the kind of frame is from B&Q but it just kind of looks a bit more stylish and it matches the new masters so that is what we like but yeah you know um, I actually created a little reel I don't know if it's up yet but um, keep a look out on ccclark.com no <laughs> but keep a look out on CC Clark home on Instagram because I'm going to be doing my little reels on there for all the DIY projects. But let me move on to, oh, the rug as well. The rug is from Zara. I've had so many questions about this. It's two meters by three meter one, I think. I'll double check and I'll link my exact size and the, the rug that I went for um, below in the description because there are actually quite a few different finishes 
and colours and I was really confused because I thought hold on is the one that I saw cream or grey and so I'll link the exact one and then we have this coffee table which I'm so proud of again and um, it's easier for you to just see the real in action of how we created this so I mean the ones that I wanted were like £600 and there was no delivery in time like for the end of December until the new year basically. So I took matters into my own hands. It's made from just a tabletop, um, pine dowels, like half pine dowels, and me and Buzzy made it. We painted it in the shade Jitney by Farron Ball. And then I have my little coffee table book, which is by Asseline, and I got this from, I think I got it from Amara actually, a really beautiful interiors. Um, company and then my little coasters which are by Jonathan Adler. Over here we've got my Vetro lamp. So this is from made.com, really affordable, complements the light there as well, um, the pendant light. And I love it. Sprayed this as well obviously. I've had this mirror for like 10 years so I can't tell you where it's from. I think it's actually from somewhere called like Out There Interiors but I doubt they do it. However, if I find something similar, because I did see something on my um, like explore page recently, I'll try and link that below for you. But yeah, I love this, and it really goes with like the new, the new vibe still. I feel like this just goes with everything. Like no matter how many times I redecorate, this kind of mirror will always go because it just looks like a timeless antique. Um, got these little boo cool cushions. These were to make this sofa look more contemporary, but. They didn't quite look right on the sofa with those throw cushions, so they're just here, kind of looking a bit random and cute. Um, and then this is the armchair with my firstborn child having a little nap on. <laughs> so this is the iColst um, armchair, but I still got it from Sweet Pea and Willow. And this is the jo Jonathan Adler cushion that um, I got from Amara, I think, but I absolutely love this. And now these mirrors, so this one here is from Zara and it's the small irregular mirror. I can't remember the exact measurements, but it's the smaller version of this one. If you come over here with me, Rach. It's the smaller version of this one, which is just beautiful. And I love like the reflection and I just love the, the way that the interior looks in the reflection of these mirrors. It's such a moment, I, I'm just really proud, guys. I'm really bloody proud of it all, to be honest. It's also good for selfies. Rach, get in for a selfie. Ooh. Have I missed anything out? Of course, we have another radiator coming here, which frames the TV nicely. Um, did my little tea stain trick on there. Got a brand new fireplace installed which is really nice and cosy. <laughs> um, I'm so glad, by the way, that we wrapped this panelling round to this little corner because it just looks like seamless, doesn't it? Like as you kind of, as your eye wanders through the room, it just all flows. So yeah, I mean, if you have any questions about any of it, then obviously um, let me know. I also replaced the door handles. I'll try and link those as well for you. And of course, this has just been resprayed and all the new handles added to this part of the kitchen, which has like the larder. I won't show you all the internals of these cards because Rach knows it's a mess right now. <laughs> I am absolutely over the moon with how the colors turned out and how everything complements each other. Like, I just love it guys. I just love this view, like from the kitchen looking into the living room. It's very comforting. It's gonna make me feel a lot more calm for the next six months. I know that we are moving next year, but you know, we've got, I reckon we'll have nine, 10 months left in this place to be quite honest with you. And I've got another baby coming and everything needs to be like zen. So until they're old enough to wreck the place, which to be fair, Birdie is already running around <laughs> like a mad, crazy baby, climbing on top of everything. No candles can be lit when she's around. But yeah, guys, I think that's everything. Oh, I can hear Madam. She's just woken up. Should we get her down? <laughs> oh, you're awake just in time to say goodbye to all of our friends. And you can tell them how much you love your new little kitchen and living room and how much you're going to look after it. 
You're gonna be very careful, aren't you? So I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog slash taster of our renovation journey, really, because this has been a practice run of what's to come on our new house. And this has just been all decorative, whereas we are actually building things, knocking things down <laughs> and building our new house. So that's when the real fun begins. But of course, I'm going to take all the interiors here, the lights, the sofas, <laughs> what are you doing? Um, and it's going to kind of be our formal living room in our new house. Where are you off to? <laughs> so much drama. <laughs> Yeah, you're a exactly. silly Billy, aren't you? You're a silly Billy. Silly. Right, guys. Well, <laughs> I better tend to Birdie now. Um, but if you enjoyed this, then please do subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Something a little bit different. I hope it's been helpful or inspiring. Just a bit of fun as well. Oh, don't forget to follow CC Clark Home on Instagram. It'd mean the world to me. And if you enjoyed this, then there's a whole lot more like this over on that Instagram page. But until next time, my beauties, love you lots. Bye.